Hello beauties, it's your girl Shayna Latrice. Beauty content is all I release. If makeup, fashion, hair, and nails is your vibe, then girl, you need to subscribe. Step number one, I am prepping my nails to ensure they last for four to six weeks. I start by filing my nails using a hand file or nail drill. And for the drill bits, I use medium to fine for my natural nail. Or if I want to get into the cuticle area, I just take a tapered drill bit. And we just want to make sure that we're careful and only taking the shine off our nails. We don't want nail damage. Then I am going to apply two coats of dehydrator and another two coats of primer. When I only use one coat of each, my nails only lasted for two weeks. So I definitely feel that this step is necessary. I'm dusting away all of the dust off of my nails using a fluffy brush I found from the Dollar Tree. I'm applying the nail tips using base coat and curing it under the UV light for 60 seconds. I do apply the base coat on the tip as well as my nail. Now, as you can see, you don't necessarily need nail glue, but if you want to use it, you can. I recommend KDS glue. That's the only glue that I can really work with my nails and the nail doesn't just pop off. So it holds really strong and the KDS glue does set within like five seconds. Next, we are shaping the nail tip. And in this case, I'm going for the short and squared look so I'm just using my nail trimmer to trim the nails to the length and I'm also going to form that squared shape using my Tammy Taylor nail file and I believe Femi Beauty put me on to this nail file um, yeah so shouts out to her I love this nail file Listen, this nail file is the best on the market and you guys know that I like when things are practical and make sense. Uh, you can peel off the used file strip and replace it with a fresh one. Not only that, but the back of the file is sturdy and will not move while you're filing a client's nails. And the crazy thing about this is when I'm using it I don't even have to use my nail drill and if you look on the reviews that they have on Amazon it's a five-star review literally so I definitely recommend this nail file and no I am not sponsored but I should be we're all done with nail prep, so now we're just applying base coat to the entire nail with the nail tip, so that way when we apply our poly gel, it can adhere. And we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Step two is nail form. I'm using my dual ended poly gel nail and brush picker by Mark Hartz. And the spatula side is for scooping the poly gel and the flat brush side is meant for applying the poly gel. Once I scoop the poly gel and put it on my nail, I'm going to be dipping my brush into my 70% rubbing alcohol. You can use this poly gel slip that they sell with these products, however it does come in a small quantity. 
I believe that's why a lot of people use the rubbing alcohol. Once I dip my poly gel brush into the 70% alcohol, I like to make sure that my brush is damp by pressing it into the pink towel just one time. And then I take that same damp side to smooth out the poly gel and form it into my apex. I'm lightly tapping the poly gel into place because the consistency is pretty gel-like and it can get sticky. So that's the reason why you have to dip your brush into the slip solution. And if you happen to get any poly gel on the brush, you can simply wipe it off on the towel, dip it back into the slip solution or rubbing alcohol, um, dampen it again, and then continue with forming that nail to your liking. After I form each nail, I do cure each nail in the UV light for 60 seconds. Let's say I'm working with three or four nails at a time. So I'm not going to just cure each nail for 60 seconds. What I like to do is complete all three of those nails at the same time and then I will cure them together for a 60 seconds or even I will go a 10 seconds if I need to go back in and add more poly gel because at 10 seconds I feel like the poly gel is hardened and it will not move so I am free to add more poly gel to the nail. After we're done forming the apex which is going to act as the base of the French nail as well we just want to make sure we go back and shape it before we add our white poly gel tip to our nail this is going to eliminate the need for being perfect when laying the white poly gel since we already shaped it to that perfect French oval shape underneath once we go to foul in between the tip and the base of the nail it will disappear into that perfect shape The footage of the final nail shaping did not record, but I used the same technique throughout this video. And this is the final look.
Let me know if you have any other ideas for my DIY nail series. And for my new viewers, if you enjoyed this video, it's plenty more where that came from. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You are not going to regret it. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you will be notified for another one of these dope videos. Until next time, bye beauties. Mwah.